Okay, I will press the button. The meeting is now live. Okay, many thanks for that, Derek. Uh, welcome to tonight's um, meeting to, for an advisory meeting on uh, the taxi trades application for an increase in uh, tariffs. Uh, but before we get to the substantive item tonight, uh, item one on the agenda is apologies for absence, please. Emma, I can confirm that we've had no apologies for absence this evening. Thank you, Maura. Does anybody bring any apologies, please? Okay, item two is declarations of interest. Uh, it's set out on the agenda paper. I'm not gonna read it out. Most members should know what it's all about. Uh, so if you have any declarations, please declare it during the meeting. Uh, so it comes on to item three, which is our substantive item tonight which is a request from the taxi trades to review the Hackney carriage tariffs. And that is on pages three to 18. Uh, as you all know, we already agreed the new tariffs in August this year, uh, but due to circumstances, they have sent in another business case asking us to look at it. But please note that tonight is just an advisory and it's actually a decision made by the executive. So Moira, if you'd like to present, please. Good evening, Chairman, and good evening, members. We've had a request from the taxi trade, as you will see, which came in on the 4th of April, um, basically requesting that we look review the fees again. We were going to do them annually from this year anyway, um, but the request has come in a little bit sooner because of the price of fuel. The, the taxi trades have, have asked us to really look at it again. And having a look at the, the, the price of fuel this afternoon on the website, it's looking like um, petrol's at about £1.64 a litre in this area and £1.78 a litre in, um, for diesel. So the, the cost of fuel has gone up substantially. What we're asking members to do today is to, is to comment on the proposal um, and also the proposed uh, consultation period. Officers are proposing that we go with the statutory 14 days from the 1st of June to the 15th of June. Um, and really that we, we, we would be advising not to extend the time scale so that we can make sure that we fit in with the rest of the democratic cycle in order to bring the, the um, decision through. Members will also recall that at the last, the last time we consulted on the fees, we didn't have any comments. So we do feel that 14 days would be enough, but obviously that will be for members to determine that the executive and obviously for this group to comment on as well. In addition, we would be going through the normal process of putting an advert in the newspaper, public notices at Times Square, uh, also uh, something on the website and writing to the taxi trade as well. So unless members are wishing to, to consult in any other ways, and any consultation will of course be augmented with, uh, with a social media campaign and a press release as well. So the, the, what the taxi trade is asking is for an increase to go from a two mile journey costing six pound 80 to a two mile uh, journey costing seven pound 80. That would put you roughly in line with um, Surrey Heath, um, Rushmore, slightly lower than Reading, slightly lower than, than Wokingham. And um, the fees, the, the, I have put in some um, fees that you can contrast with in Appendix C, but having looked at those again today, loads and loads of the authorities have changed their fees in April. So, so that document would be, need to be amended before it goes through to council. The other um, issue to pick up on as well is that there was an error in the calculation of the waiting time in Appendix D and we would need to adjust it from one uh, from a minute and 42 seconds or 48 seconds to one minute and 22.96 seconds because of the way that the math, the math has worked out. That's really all I have to say on this this evening, Chairman. Okay, Happy thank you, Maura. Any questions? Uh, yep, thank you. Uh, does anybody wish to ask any questions, please? Uh, Sandra Ingham, please. Oh, sorry, Chair. I don't actually wish to um, ask a question. I just wanted to say my bit as I'm only with you for 10 minutes. Yeah, fine, yes. Okay, uh, well, just, just to say, I support the peer review group. Um, we met last week and um, it, it was felt that yes, this should go to executive and yes, uh, the taxi, it, it, the circumstances are so exceptional uh, the price of petrol and diesel is escalating rapidly. And yes, um, we should support an increase. The proposed increase is acceptable. 
um, uh, and the decision should lie with the executive. Um, and, and just to note that, um, yeah. you know, the, the taxi trade has had a tough journey through the pandemic and even the increase in the DPS check was difficult for them, but also recognising it is a free market. So, um, you know, perhaps we don't make it compulsory, but if the taxi drivers wish to increase their fares, then fair enough. Excuse the pun. Right. Is that OK, Chair? That is fine, Sandra. That is fine. Thank you. Uh, questions or comments is, is welcome. Uh, anybody else have any questions or comments, please? Nick Allen. Uh, just to say that um, uh, it, you should point out, it's worth pointing out that it is a maximum charge. So, you know, as you say, it's a free market. So they they are at, uh, you know, they can charge less if they need to, uh, or if they feel it's worthwhile, but it is a maximum charge. And um, I, I do agree, it really ought to go up. And also, if we can just say that, um, although they're, most of them are self-employed, it's not any other business, uh, it is down to the uh, local authority to set the charges. They can't just put them up or down as they wish. They have to come through due process. Uh, Michael Brossard, please. Thank you, Chairman. Only really to reiterate what uh, Councillor Allen and Councillor Ingham have said. I mean, it's very clear when you look at the situation that despite the government's assistance by you know, by reducing the, the duty very slightly, there's certainly no evidence in the foreseeable future that petrol and diesel prices are going to come down. And I believe that we do have to respond in a positive way to what I believe is a justified submission of, by the trade. And I, I think at these difficult times, we should give them our, our 100% support. Thank you, Chairman. Thank you, Michael. And I endorse those words. Uh, Ian Kirk, please. Thank you, Chair. Um, by my calculations, fuel's gone up between 20 and 25% in the short term. And this increase on the fares represents 15%. Um, I think this is a reasonable evidence and proportionate um, rise uh, in the tariff. And uh, I'm very much in support of it. Thank you, Ian. Uh, Nigel, please. Yeah, good evening. Thanks very much, uh, John. Um, like uh, other members, um, I would support this as well. It seems a, a fair and reasonable increase. I just wanted to ask a question, though. Um, these revised charges um, vary the, the distance for the, um, for the first 415 yards and the subsequent 135. Is there any issue with that? Would you that, that's how, that, sorry, that's how they get the charge because their initial fee, I think you'll find, is staying at the same as three pounds. Yeah, but it's gone from four fifty yards to four one five yards. Yeah, yeah. So that that's how they get the increase in the charges. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. That was all. Thank you. Just wanted to okay. clear that. No worries. Um, Anybody else, please. Okay, I can see no other hands. Oh, and just as I said that, somebody put their hand up. Hold on one second. Ian Leake. Ian, please. Can you hear me, Chairman? Yes, thank you. Uh, just simply to say that, uh, to me, this is a no-brainer. I agree. Thank you for those kind words, Ian. Um, okay, uh, no other hands then. So I go to the um, recommendations at uh, set out at item two, uh, and that is that uh, the Licensing and Safety Committee notes the existing tariffs, which have been placed been in place since August 2021. Uh, comments on the business case put forward by the trade, and notes any comments received on the consultation at the 23rd of June 2022 Licensing and Safety Committee meeting. Uh, and that we that the executive notes existing tariffs considers the business case and considers if statutory consultation should be undertaken. Uh, and then obviously, uh, if the executive is minded to consult on any changes, they are asked to agree that the consultation will run for the 14 days as previously mentioned, uh, that a public notice is placed in the Bracknell News uh, and that the consultations will be promoted on both the Bracknell Forest Council and the Public Protection Partnerships website. And the note will be displayed at the Times Square offices 
by the 1st of June 2022. And they agree that a copy of the notice should be emailed individually to all Bracknell licensed Hackney carriage proprietors for their comments. Uh, it notes also that the License and Safety Committee will, at the 23rd of June 2022 meeting, be asked to note any responses received during the period of consultation. And finally, that if objections are received and not withdrawn, the executive at its meeting on the 19th of July 2022 will consider the business case alongside any objections and determine whether the proposed very table affairs with or without modification will come into operation and the revised implementation date. Is everybody happy with those recommendations, please? Agreed. Yes, Chairman, agreed. Yes, agreed. Okay, thank you very much. Do you want to second it, John? I'll second it. I think it's just because we're noting and commenting. Okay, fine. So, uh, but yeah, we, we can, we can, we are proposed, you can second, but then we've crossed all the I's and dotted all the T's, whatever it is. Okay, that is the end of tonight's meeting. I'd like to thank you all for your time this evening at short notice. Uh, it's greatly appreciated. Uh, and I'm sure the taxi trade will be happy to see that the um, councillors at Bracknell Forest are fully behind them <clears throat> and supporting their efforts to make sure that their business is viable. So uh, please enjoy the rest of the evening. And I look forward to yeah. seeing you all in person on the 22nd of June. John, we, we just need to, if I can, John, if I can just mention <clears throat> that the Zoom host needs to confirm that the live stream of the meeting has ended. So shall we yeah. maybe wait for Derek yeah. to... Uh, to, uh, to um, yeah, I'm just going to... I was just about oh, to sorry. Ask. It's now oh. ended. Derek, 